Hello, I'm Al Cox, and today in BuildBox game review, we are checking out Circle the Lock. So this is based off of Pop the Lock, which is the original that has his game style. Here they simplify it and then just add some colors. And this game came out in November 2016. Cool thing about this game is I don't think they did a lot. Here you can go into BuildBox and actually find for like Lock Star, almost identical to that we'll be playing in a second. I've actually spent many hours in this preset figuring out how everything works and there's just like so many moving pieces it's actually a, a pretty cool preset to just like dive in see what's invisible here's the game here's the menu doesn't have a lot going on i'm gonna select multicolor. Uh, i like blue here it is and there's a horn every time you hit it and this is pretty much the game there's not much more to this it looks like there's a little shadow on the circle. I feel like whenever I get to 15 or higher, it just kind of makes me game over, which is not cool. But let's see how well I can do. See, it's best of 15. So, and I've, I've played this game plenty of times. I popped the lock a lot more. Uh, I think something may be off because if I always try to tap it right before, which in pop the lock you want to tap it exactly on so again different things that you need to notice see like there i look like i had it this is one of those things where you want to play test your game a lot so that you don't feel like you get cheated you play this game and you have the same experience please let me know that it's just my clumsy thumb just trying to get more than 15. Oh, that okay that was clearly too soon uh, menu. I like the colors. So. You know, I don't think it'd be too difficult to change the colors every time you get the lock. So this is also a really good example of how you can take a preset, change just a little bit, and then upload it to the App Store. I mean, I have yet to upload a Billbox game to the App Store, but I'm always working on like so many different games. If you want to like publish a game, you take a preset, make minor changes to it. Oh, gotta get higher than 15. Focus. I clearly had that. All I want is 16. It's okay, it's okay, you know. Get it, get it. Tap it right before, I feel like that's the move. Seventeen high fives. I highly recommend checking out the build box preset for this and just spend a day or two. Uh, I've spent a lot of hours and there's just a lot of cool things going on that when you first look at it makes no sense the more you use build box the more you understand how you can make things invisible still give it physical properties to whether give yourself a higher score or change the direction of things so definitely check this out if, if this game shows me anything it's that the build box presets are super powerful and Understanding them gets you one step closer to maximizing your efficiency with BuildBox. Anyways, uh, if you like this video, please like, and I'll see you at the next game.